So you're probably stressed out and you're probably wondering why you can't get your microphone to work inside of FL Studio on your M1 Mac Mini. Keep on watching this video. Able to get my audio working and my microphone working inside of FL Studio 20 utilizing those steps and those tips what's up everybody chris lee back with another united destiny entertainment tutorial video hey check this out if you're new to this channel be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell to get more videos like this in the future all right so what's up guys chris lee back with another video hey guys check this out i know that you guys have been going through some frustrating stuff but i got a solution for you today some of you, if you own the new M1 Mac Mini and you own FL Studio 20, you are probably one of the people that have been struggling like me to go ahead and try to get your microphone or your mic input to show up inside of FL Studio 20. But not only that, the security and privacy settings on your M1 Mac Mini. For whatever reason, it's not showing up. It's driving you crazy. It's driving you nuts. You want to know how to do it. And guys, I'm going to actually show you how to do that right now. Okay. This is the first thing that you want to do. Go ahead and go check your privacy settings. Once you install your FL Studio 20 on your M1 Mac Mini, it's going to install fine, but usually there's something with the security and privacy that says, do you want to go ahead and utilize this microphone? Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do that. This is what you need to do. First thing that you want to do is find your system preferences. If it's not down here on your dock, what you can do is go up to the top and go to system preferences right here and it'll pop up right there. Okay, now once you go ahead and get that to pop up, what you want to do is go ahead and click uh, security and privacy. Guys, this section is so important. When you have like a camera or a new microphone or whatever the case may be, or you want to utilize your microphone and camera and all your various softwares, DAWs, programs, or whatever, you're going to need to go to this section and make sure that they actually show up in this section over here with a check mark next to them so they can go ahead and enable you to record with them or utilize them in that software, okay? Okay, so what you want to do is normally for the majority of you, is if you try to install FL Studio, you will look into this section and for whatever reason, FL Studio wouldn't be there. It's, it's just not there in general. So you're probably uninstalling, getting on the internet, going crazy, trying to figure out how to do it or whatever like I was doing and pulling your hair out. But then there's a solution for it, okay? So what I did in the process was I went ahead and did some more digging on the internet. And when I did some more digging on the internet, it basically said that, um, I need to see if my FL Studio is actually running in Apple Silicon mode or is it running in a Rosetta 2 mode, okay? And I didn't even think about that. Uh, so what I did was I went to FL Studio. So you just open up your FL Studio and the way that you check to see what it's actually running is you go ahead and go to the help section here and you go to about. And it'll let you know, okay? Yours will probably say right here, Mac OS Apple Silicon, okay? If it says that, that means that you need to go ahead and change it to Rosetta 2, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do that. Okay, so the way that I fixed this was I went ahead and I went to, I put up my finder window by clicking this down here, and what I did in the process was if you go to your, let me see, I think it's the Mac hard drive. Yeah, so if you go here and you go to your Mac, Macintosh HD hard drive, all you have to do is double click that, go to applications, and then you want to right click your FL Studio. Once you right click your FL Studio, you get info, okay? Go ahead and click get info. And then once it gives you the info, it's going to go ahead and pop up with that stuff. Okay, right here. So once it pops up, it's going to ask you right here. It's going to say either, yours will probably say, open in Rosetta, exactly what this says. You want to make sure that this is checked. If it's already checked or not showing up, just go ahead and uncheck it and check it again. But make sure that this is checked, open with Rosetta. And then once you go ahead and do that, it'll basically pop up and say, do you want to utilize the microphone or is going to ask you for permission? So what you want to do is go back and you want to check. Once you go back and you check, it's actually going to show up in a list now and it's going to be checked. Now the FL Studio is checked. Now I'm able to utilize it and record it inside of the software, okay? So once you do that, you just go ahead and double check again by going here, go to help, and then you want to go ahead and go back to about. And once you go to about, it, it should say Mac OS Rosetta here, okay? So then after that, what you want to do is go to your mixer window, or you could even just right click. What you can do is right click, 
you can go to insert and you can choose uh, audio clip. Okay. Once you go to audio clip, go ahead and put it on its own track. And then what you want to do from there is go to the mixer window, which is this button here. Pop that up and go to track six. And then you go here to your drop down box and whatever your audio interface is, you want to use the mono channel and use channel one. Okay. Or if you're in channel two, use that one, but it's mono channel number one. And then guys, that's going to enable your microphone. I was able to do it. Now check it out. Hey, what's up YouTube? Chris Lee back with another video. I'm super excited right now because I was actually able to get my audio working and my microphone working inside of FL Studio 20 utilizing those steps and those tips i'm super excited about it let's get to work let's get it now i can go ahead and do my tutorials now you can go ahead and do your tutorials and start recording your songs inside of fl studio 20. all right guys so that was pretty much it for the video if you enjoyed the video go ahead and give me a thumbs up leave me some comments let me know what you think did it actually help you did it solve your problem if it did guys i would love to know in the comment section please leave me some comments also share this video with other people because they may be struggling just like you and me and having the same issues and i just want to help everybody out if you're new to the channel please 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 hit that subscribe button and guys as always stay tuned for the next video my therapist agree with me black panther on the screen his father came to visit me elder had a lot to say steady open trust and pray even though it's